one of my doves is less. But what's interesting is the territorial shitting of the fox, right where the, uh, this was killed yesterday, but the fox last night and did another territorial shit right next to this one. Can you guys look, look at that there. So the dove was probably hit here, taken down and the hawk bounced over here and started plucking. You're not to roll in that now, dogs. I've got to pick that shit up because fox shit is so stinky. Bear, leave it. So that's one less dove and one fed hawk or kestrel or somebody. Anyway, look at the colors are beginning to change. Isn't that looking beautiful? Wonderful colors. The red oak is turning. So is the sumac or staghorn. And you see the maple tree behind. This copper beach is always copper. So feeding this flock here, which is a mixture of the yos I'm keeping and uh, yo lambs and hoggets before they go to the ram. Birds are beginning to do their autumnal song of territory. Robins, chaffinches, little the uh, yellow caps, long-tailed tits, and dogs are rolling and shit. Thanks, dog Brindle. Yuck! The stink. Anyway, so my breeding herd is going to flock is going to be a lot less this year. I've already sold 10 sheep and eight or 10 more are going to go. Not from these. These are the ones I've selected, but the ones that are in the shed. The sheep here, are either lambs I'm keeping, or hoggets, or yes that I'm keeping for breeding. And another location where a hawk got another dove. I better count my doves and see how many I've left. But again, the fox has left its marker, saying this is mine, even though, hey, come on, leave it. Inca. So again, the fox has said, this is mine. You can see the feathers everywhere. So I'd say the hawk struck it here approximately, and then it bounced with it over here, did some plucking. And this was yesterday as well. And this last night the fox came and made its mark. <laughs> I think it, I find it fascinating how foxes mark their territory even though the kill is not their kill so we have lots of foxes in the area hence why the chickens live in Fort Knox it's a beautiful sunny morning and a th and now a third dove again marked by a fox last night look at that fox shits all around it so the foxes the hawks have, or kestrels have been very busy 
as have the foxes, marking kills that were not theirs. Very interesting. There's no doves showing, but I'd say the doves that are left are gonna be in there, very quiet, not even cooing, sitting on some of the beams. The last of the swallows and house martins are here, the ones that fledged late. So they're coming and going, but I'd say if I climbed the ladder, went into the loft, the remains of my doves, I'd say there might be five, maybe six, are in there sitting on beams quietly saying, we're not here, we're invisible. This is what usually happens when I have a bout of dove attacks. Unrelated to cats. Isn't that right, kitty? That wasn't you, was it? Nor you guys. None of you guys. No. <laughs> Come on, babies. Come on. Come on. Come on, babies. Come on. Come on, babies. Come on. Woo. Come on. Come on, babies. Come on. Good babies. Come on, babies. Oh, you're going to eat the apples. Come on. Come on, this way. Come on. Woo! Come on. Woo! Come on, babies. Nope, just the dogs. Okay, this is going to be fun. Circled round behind, and away they go. My move field is enough that they've now finally remembered. Squeezing through the narrow gate past the young orchard. I gotta close this gate. Okay, dog loggers, come on. Brindle, Java, leave it. Java, Java. Wait, Maya. Now, there's a pain in the arse sheep that went into the field where the horses are. And I'm hoping, moving all these lambs across the driveway, that the um, lamb will come down the hill. Hey! No! Java, behave. Luckily, one of them went out that gap. Okay, I've got to close that gate, open that gate and swing this. Come on, dogs. Come on, come on, come on. Stay. Hey, there's a nip more grass in here because the sheep haven't been on it for a little while. 
not very long. But now they're gonna come across and hopefully that lamb up there will come down. Hey, no, Inca, leave them be. they want that mineral lick. field they were in didn't have a mineral lick. Oops, my bad. Actually, they had a mineral lick in their shed, so I take that back, but they generally like to eat their mineral lick, lick literally after they've had their meal and they've just had their meal. There we go. He's coming. Come here, dogs. And away he goes. She goes joins the rest of the flock. That was perfect timing and it worked. Okay, you're there. You're back with everybody. You're bold. Okay, beautiful sunny morning. Well, there's six left. So I lost three to the hawks. Java, leave them alone. They've had enough being frightened. So one of them looks slightly wounded on its breast like it got knocked down out of the sky by a hawk. <laughs> <laughs> You're rolling on to me. Honestly, dogs. I was worried about my doves. No, <laughs> You're knocking me down. Stop it, Brindle. Brindle. <laughs> Just calm yourself. Calm yourself. <laughs> yes, calm yourself. <laughs> Oh, one's gone back up there. <laughs> How did you get locked in there? <laughs> you, I was wondering where you were. <laughs> oh, you silly pup. I was unloading animal food and you got in and I didn't see you. <laughs> oh, that's why Java was barking at the car and I couldn't figure out why. Because you were locked in it, you silly pup. Good thing that it wasn't, good thing it wasn't a hot day. No cats are in there, I hope. You're bold. You got in there and I didn't see you. Thank goodness it wasn't a hot day. The car was stationary with the boot open. One of my favorite things with Chip. This is carbon that I can then store here on the farm by mulching under trees or using it as stuff for the animals. Look at that. One, two, three piles today and two more later today. Excellent. I'm mad for wood chip and huge amounts. This is just brilliant. Yay! Love my wood chip. Look at that. Somebody else's carbon I get to store here on the farm. So been filling these stables up with uh, lots of lovely straw bedding for the horses because there's a storm coming um, this Sunday potentially. I'm also cleaning out the potting shed and reorganizing it. But while we were taking the straw from here, we found a hedgehog. So I'm getting a new straw bale in here 
and we're going to make a nest for the hedgehog. The hedgehog was found right in here. So it has its own pathway. So we're gonna put the round bale here to prevent the dogs from getting it. And I will return it. I'll show you when I release it. So, oh, do you think there's more hedgehogs? Are there more hedgehogs in there? No, I don't see any more. No, you all think there's more hedgehogs. The dogs notified us that there was a hedgehog. So no hedgehogs, no more hedgehogs. But this bale, um, I'm gonna put some of this over here so that the hedgehog will have its nest and then we'll know that it's there. It's probably coming in and out through there somehow and we'll give it its own space because it's probably thinking it will be a lovely place for it to hibernate. So when I release it, I'll show you. So here is the hedgehog. Huge, heavy, big um, boar hedgehog. Boars being a male hedgehogs is what they're called. So I'm gonna bring it back and to its hibernation place or its bedroom that we've done up for it. We've got the round bale in, and in there is where we found it. So I'm going to let it go. I don't have the dogs around or anything. So um, the dogs are all locked inside. Oh, uh, they're all howling too. Okay, I need to get a glove to lift them out. So we've made a lovely place for him in there. And I've just realized he's probably coming in there and going in that way because it's a nice little step off place. So, come on, big boy. You're such a big, beautiful boy. Okay, now, do you wanna go in there? Where's your head? Which end is your head? Can you open your head a little bit, please? Because I can't squeeze it through that until you open up a little bit. It's had access to water and I gave it some wet cat food, which is what you feed hedgehogs while we were fixing this area up for them. Look at him breathing. Very prickly fella. Maybe I can slide him in sideways. No, see, it's not gonna work. It's too narrow, unless he crawls in. Hmm. Come on, I can't let the dogs out until you go in there. The dogs are all stuck inside. Look at this, fantastic amounts of wood chip. I'm thrilled to bits with this big load. It's used for the garden, for the tr young trees, for bedding the animals. That's brilliant. So we got one, two, three, four, five loads, six loads. Yay! Fantastic.